In today's video guys, I'm going to show you a bunch of more methods on how you can fix Fortnite crashing here in Chapter 3 Season 4 guys. I'm going to give you a detailed list about every single step you can do to really fix stutter or like abrupt game crashes while playing or your Fortnite maybe not even launching. If you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also don't forget to join my Discord guys, we're over 71,000 active members so therefore if you need help, you can always join there. And with that said, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and for the first step, what I want you to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher guys and once we're now in here, we're gonna move over now to library and what you guys wanna make sure is search for Fortnite now. And once you're in Fortnite, you have like these three dots here. And in the first place now, we're gonna go onto options, guys. And what I want you to do is make sure that only Fortnite Core and Battle Royale is actually checked. All of the other ones should be unchecked 100%. And also try to uncheck as many languages as possible, guys, yeah? Just simply keep it bare here to Fortnite Core and Battle Royale, which is the only required one. Then we're gonna click onto Apply. There we should now see Manage, guys. You're going to click onto it. And there we now have in the first place Verify Files, which we're going to click on now. And yeah, once you click on it guys, your Fortnite is basically gonna get checked for any possible errors, missing data, corrupted data and all that stuff. So therefore, yeah, just simply wait a little bit. It's gonna take some while, but afterwards your Fortnite should be fixed 100%. For the next step guys, what can also possibly cause your Fortnite to crash or simply not launch is that your prefetch is somehow interrupting it. So therefore what you guys gotta do is press your Windows key and R together. So you have like this run um, window here now open and in here you're gonna type prefetch just like that guys I'm gonna put it maybe also in the description prefetch then we're gonna click onto okay and you can see now you don't currently have permission to access this folder so you're gonna continue guys so you have that permission and what you want to do guys in here are basically like all the like temporary data on your pc giving you like updates about all the data which are there and yeah for some people these might be maybe interrupted so therefore what we're gonna do is delete most of them guys yeah literally every single one in here you can delete and at the same time you can do the same thing here again windows in r and type in temp guys and once we're here in temp you're going to delete as many as possible as well guys you know just simply select all of them delete them go here on to continue and if there are some which can be deleted that's completely fine because for me i'm right now using creative cloud in the background which is for my editing software but we just deleted all the temporary data on our pc now we're gonna empty our recycling bin and this might already fix it for a lot of people as well. And for this next step, guys, what are we going to do? This is especially beneficial on a little bit more up-to-date graphics cards. I would say something like from the 16 series up, you know, RTX 20, 30 and all that stuff, guys. What you want to do is actually open up your NVIDIA GeForce experience, guys. And then once we're in here, we first of all want to go onto drivers and make sure that we check for updates, guys. And what's super important is that you actually don't check here studio drivers. Super important, guys, because those can have errors or they can't work properly sometimes, you know. So therefore, only the game-ready drivers. You can see right now, I've got the latest version, so I'm chilling. But some people are sometimes using the studio drivers for whatever reason, because they're insanely unstable. So therefore, make sure that you have the normal game-ready drivers, guys. Then we're also going to click here back onto home, guys. And when we have Fortnite here, we're gonna click onto details. And for some people, it's also working if they're launching Fortnite through GeForce Experience because it's some sort of like secured launch mode. So therefore, for some people, this might already fully fix it that they just have to launch the game simply through GeForce Experience. Just click here on to launch and it should launch the same way as before, you know. But yeah, as mentioned, guys, this is the next step. And now we're done here as well. So guys, and for this next step, we're going to be utilizing now a tool which is going to be called Driver Booster PC. I already got it here on my PC, guys. You can also just search it up on Google. But if you wish to support me, guys, you can also get it over the first link in the description, which is going to be a link for Ty's link, which means you're going to click here on to access for free, you know, without like any like ads. And then you maybe have to install one simple tool. Here. And after that, you unlock the link, guys. It's super, super easy. And it's just simply to like sort of support me, you know. You can see once we get it on our PC, we can just straight up uninstall it, like it never even was there. You can see I straight up uninstalled it afterwards and then we already unlocked here the link. We're gonna click onto it. By the way, this is fully secured by others guys, so nothing can happen. Then we have download driver booster where we have now the launcher basically from Linkwatize on which we're going to click. And once we're in here, we're gonna click onto next, decline, decline. And we already opened up the Google Drive link from where you can get the tool, guys. So therefore, this is an easy way to support me. I'm sorry, guys, I have to utilize this because I'm putting so much time into these videos. And once you get it from here, you're gonna go through the installation process. And then we have Driver Booster 9 already here on our PC, guys. And what you wanna do in here is just simply click onto scan. And it's going to scan your whole entire PC for missing drivers, which can also cause your Fortnite to stutter, to lag, crash mid-game and all that stuff. 
and you can see 18 devices are outdated and three game drivers are outdated as well. So we're gonna click onto update now. You can see now onto okay and it's gonna automatically download and update all the drivers on our PC. Super easy method as well guys. And as mentioned, if you use my link with his link, you can support my channel for absolutely free if you wish so. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite guys, I open up no ping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay of my keyboard. And in addition to that guys, no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you wanna play. As an example, if you're gonna search here for Fortnite guys, we can click onto it and it's gonna showcase me the best server in my near, which would for me now be here London 02. And you can see on London 02, I get only 23 milliseconds delay, whether on Frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys, where I would get 26 milliseconds. So therefore this already helped me to get three milliseconds less ping guys and then we're only going to click it onto optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys just simply let no ping run in the background you can boost your fps reduce the input delay and get less ping and by the way with the link in the description guys and my code you can get 20 percent off as well as the seven days trial guys and you can pay super easy via paypal so therefore this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out so guys and after enabling all of these steps here carefully you should definitely fix your fortnite from crashing but as an extra method which i want to mention as well guys i already released two full-on guides or better said tips and tricks videos on how you can fix fortnite from crashing here in chapter 3 season 4 so therefore make sure to check out both of these videos before you hop off guys because yeah maybe the other methods which i showed previously yesterday are going to help you to launch your game I think like the first one which I showed was actually force launching your game on DirectX 12 because on some PCs right now performance mode or DirectX 11 just simply doesn't work because of the latest update. So therefore you have to play it in DirectX 12 with the performance mode because there's like also like a performance mode which you can enable on DirectX 12 actually which is going to give you more FPS if you really struggle to run it at DirectX 12 consistently. But as mentioned guys, make sure to check out both of these guides. They're going to help you out 100%. And if you still need any more support, also feel free to join my Discord. We're over 71,000 active members. So therefore, if you need any help guys, there's always people who you can ask. And also guys, please don't forget to check out my latest video where I played Arena for one hour to see how many Arena points I can get guys. It's been a super fun video and I definitely would recommend you to watch it guys. Because yeah, the editing was super insane and I'm trying to now as well do like more diverse content because I actually want to do some more arena or in-game content and I would highly appreciate if you guys could support me there. So therefore, go over there, leave a like, subscribe, you know, leave a comment there if I should do more content like that. Maybe something like changing my keyboard after every single kill in arena. Just give me some tips in the comments and with that said, we're done here.